G'day, welcome to the channel. So the first question is, have you checked on your mates recently? So a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago in fact, it was a Saturday, I'd been putting off making a decision on a ride for a while, I was just too busy, there's too many things going on, everything was getting to me, the bike's got a sheet on it, I reckon it might have a sheet on it for a while, and I was sitting around the table and I got a text message from my brother who asked me if I'm going on a ride, and I sort of turned to my wife and you know, and said, you know, what do you reckon? And pretty much straight away, she just said, just go, right? You're going. I'm glad I did, because it's probably the last ride for a little while. So this video is, it's a little bit about that ride. It's a little bit of a, bit of a commentary on myself and uh, how I'm dealing with the situation. Two weeks ago, this group was supposed to start a week-long trip around Tassie and right up until the Thursday, the Thursday before they were due to leave, on the Friday, uh, it was all go and then Tasmania effectively shut the border uh, and that was the end of that ride. That way is a no-go. So they decided to ride a bit closer to home, just did a four-day ride closer to Melbourne. I just went for the one day on the set on the Sunday and uh, had a great time. I've dropped my glasses. I know I did. Get back it on. This this whole situation has been it's been difficult and gets more difficult for me if I read the, the media websites and the papers. I get anxious, I get grumpy, uh, so it's all pretty pretty terrible so for me I've had a couple of media free days and I've just avoided all media sites and really that has been fantastic creating this video for me is as much a help as anything I suppose my other suggestion at the moment would be to try to like, get creative maybe pick up one of these long-term projects that you've been putting off for a while and get stuck into it not too fast because you might have a bit of time in your hands. Uh, for me I'm trying at the moment and you'll see in this video I'm trying uh, a new website called Relive and does this really cool map thing of your ride. Uh, it also inserts the photos from your camera roll on your phone that seems pretty good. It inserted little bits of video as well from the different parts of the ride. change all the time maybe not in a, as big a way as this but they do yeah, so our group had a number of things planned this year that have had to change like I mentioned we had a uh, we had the tour of Tassie planned um, I wanted to do a few day ride up up in uh, out in Western Victoria we we're talking about another Simpson Desert trip later in the year. Uh, another one of our group was going to do the Madigan line, starting way over here in, uh, I think it was going to start in Kalgoorlie and way up there down to Alice. There was also talk of the, the good old west to east trip. All of these things are cancelled for this year. 
few months back I helped out with a coaching course. As part of that it was sponsored by some government agency thing and I ripped off a couple of their stickers. One of the stickers which was a little bit lost on me at the time and I'm not quite sure why they invented it at the time but at the moment it makes perfect sense. It's this one. Check your mates. And look, I reckon that that is probably the, the key thing to do at the moment if you can. Pick up the phone, call one of your mates every day or a couple a week or something and just, just have a chat to them, find out how they're going. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Uh, I hope it wasn't too waffly and rambling and all the rest of it, but you know, that's what works for me. Anyway, till, uh, till next time, till the next video, whenever that might be, because who knows what's going on at the moment. Uh, cheers.